Hey, this is Ash from All Things Dentistry, and I want to congratulate you on your purchase of your new Nanopix sensor and software from 18th. This software is packed full of incredible functionality, and you will not be disappointed. Walk with me as I show you some simple tips on how to use the software efficiently in your practice. Okay, let's get started with installing the software. After connecting the USB key, you can go ahead and click the installation application. You know, this program is super small and honestly, it's as simple as one, two, three to install it by yourself. You know, the installation takes only about three minutes and then we're ready to rock. All right, and now we're done. Okay, so here we are, we're into the software. You made it. It's such a great, simple, effective software to use. So let's just go ahead. I'm gonna, I wanna walk you through a couple things. Under file, this is how we close the software. Under tools is where, how we set the environment. And under help, there's a number of things. I really wanna point out, check for update. It's free to all users. You know, new functions and new features are added by AT from time to time. And the user only needs to connect to the internet to update the software, and it's always free. And then, so once the upgrade is completed, all you have to do is close the software. You can see we're already updated. Close the software and open again. You know, I really love this feature because no other software I've used actually offers this. And if they do it, they'll usually do it once and then the rest of the updates are actually fairly expensive. So let's go ahead and take a look at setting up our our settings. There's a few things in here we can, we can take a look at. You know, you can set your language, clinic information. You can see there's my information. Under patient, we can also do chart numbering. You can set up how you want the patient to be named. Under acquisition, you can set up specific for your x-ray unit. So for me, I needed to set it to AC and for we have the threshold set for 100 micro grays. In the viewer, we can there's a whole bunch of different tools that you can use. Under, so you got your magnifier and you can really adjust and really customize the way that you want your software to run for you. And then under a report, you can really customize the way we want to use this. The next item we're going to look at is the patient screen. Now this is truly the software's home screen. And you know that you're in the patient screen by looking at the patient tab at the top of the window. We can create a new patient by clicking here and enter the patient details as necessary. All right, so let's take a look at my case. Yeah, I have a root canal. You know, I love the ability to use the recently acquired button to quickly search for any x-rays that have been taken in within the past three days. But you can also be more specific and enter the patient's name into the search bar. And there we are, my root canal. So from here, you can see all the images that have been taken, all my secrets. There's my chart number. So if you wanna know some details about the patient, you can just click show detail. But if some of those things have changed, like their phone number, what you can do is just click on edit patient and adjust their phone number, their email, and any other things that you need to change. Now, if you double click on the thumbnail in the screen as you see it, it's gonna open the image into the viewer where you can manipulate the image. If you right click on one of those images, there's a number of tasks that you can complete as well. Well, let's get into the acquisition screen. So right up front, there's a large image preview where we see our image as it's captured. And then the panel to the right is used to display thumbnails of recent images. Now we can either use our intraoral sensor or import previous radiographs. We can set up our teeth to be an adult or child, as you can see here, it changes it. And then we can image process using different filters such as endoperio restorative. There's a bunch of other buttons. We'll talk about those when we get to the viewer section. Now we're gonna take a radiograph on me, tooth number two, six. And you know, the beauty of this program is that it's always ready for an exposure. So you can see here it's waiting and ready, but if you see the blue, it means that your sensor is disconnected and you need to reconnect it. Let's connect up our sensor and take an x-ray on a patient. That'll be me. The software lets you know if you've under or overexposed the sensor by providing you a color code value in the center of the preview screen. And of course I cone cut the palatal root, so I had to take another one. And the average value is indicating green, so that means that we have the correct setting for the sensor. And all images captured are automatically saved to the database, so you don't have to worry about losing an image. Okay, so now we've acquired our image, let's use the viewer to manipulate it and also take a look at the image much more closely. So I've got it set for two by one, but you can totally change it to however images you want. 
we'll set it to one by one. Now let's take a look at the different filters. Endo, but then there's a Perio, and we have a restorative filter. I'm gonna set that back to Endo. Now I haven't really gotten used to using the Smart Contrast, but I can tell you the Smart Sharpen, I love it. As you press it, it increases the sharpness of the image. And for you Facebook posters, you can use your inverse as well to post on Facebook. I'm just kidding. So some of the colorized options are available there. And of course, using the brightness and contrast allows you to manipulate the different densities in the image. So I'm gonna set that back to normal. So let's take a look above the image of some of the things, tools that are available. So we can rotate the image. We can flip it vertically and horizontally. We can pan the image around. And I'm gonna use another image just to compare. So I double click on the window on the right and then I double click on one of the thumbnails and boom, up comes the image. So there's a zoom button, but honestly, I just use a two finger zoom on my trackpad. I'm gonna reset that with the little reset button. You can measure, you can check angles. Look at this MB canal. We're going to check the angle there. I'm gonna reset, remove those overlays. And I forgot to mention, if you double click on the image, it blows it up to full screen. So if you're talking with your patient, it's really easy to get to a full screen. I'm gonna use this drawing pencil just to trace out my the PDL on this healthy root. Now this root canal is about five years old. So yes, they do work. And if you wanna remove that drawing, you just click clear overlays. You can place a rectangle, ellipse, drawing. And one of the other tools you can use is just placing notes. So place a memo onto the image just to place some notes. I'm gonna put in, we're gonna follow up in six months. So we can clear that off or leave it. We can take an image and send that JPEG, email it or save it. And then finally we can place a grid. Now, don't forget, you can, any of the images in the panel on the right, you can double click and up they come. In the report screen, we can create reports and automatically import our radiographs into that document. There are three different templates to choose from and I can customize the reports according to my needs. Okay, so let's take a look at some of the functions. This is template A, it has an image on top and a text box below. And then template B has two images and a text box below. And then template C has two text boxes up top and an image below. I really like using template B. So it's really simple to use. I'm gonna click on the box with the images. I'm gonna double click on the radiograph I wanna put in there, and that's it. I'm gonna cut and paste some text that I've already typed up, and voila, my report is done. So from here, I can save the report so I can access it down the road. I can also add a page to it. I can delete a page and I can add an image box and a text box and customize the report to the way I need it. Let's load up an, another report that I've modified and here you can see I have three image boxes and it was really simple to do this. And that's how simple it is to use the report screen. I hope you found this tutorial helpful and good luck.